Okay, next tip. This is a beehive. I don't know if you can see that. Stamp. And what I did was I used some embossing ink clear, put it on here, and then I actually embossed it so it's kind of like a guide and an outline. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some pearlescent paints and I'm going to go for this yellowish kind of gold. These are so pretty when they dry. And I'm going to paint in between the black lines. So as you can see, I'm filling it in with the pearlescence. And then what I am going to do is wait just a second. Let me take a second to dry. Let's see if that'll work. And then I'm just going to kind of go over the lines. And normally I would do this with a Q-tip, but since I didn't bring one to this party, <laughs> I'll just do it with a napkin. There you go. So I'm going to finish coloring this in and I'll be right back. Okay. So what I've done is I've basically just put some stuff, pieces of paper and stuff like that in the bottom of a can. I'll cover the front later. And then on top of that, I put a layer of UTEE, -E, the ultra thick embossing enamel. And now I'm going to show you. So I used my melting pot. Um, there are other ways to heat it. You could put it in a toaster oven. You have to watch it though and be careful about what you put with it. And I just put it in here so it melts it. And so once I, it hits that air, it gets hard really fast. So I'm just going to go on and pour it right in here. And you got to be very careful. This is hot. So I'm just going to move the lid. And then I made myself two little paper towel handles. And I'm going to pick it up and I'm just going to pour it in the container. Simple as that. It'll melt down over the layer that's already there. And I could keep doing this as much as I want. As many layers as I wanted to put in here I could do. So you want to get all of that out of there. It'll dry nice and clear. And the good thing about it is once it dries in the pot, you could just peel it right off. So I'm going to turn that pot off. There it is. And once it dries, it'll be nice and clear. And I'll have a pretty little decorator can. Okay, so here's the last project of this series. And what this is, is this is foil. 
and I think I've heard it called magic foil and glue foil, glitter foil. Um, we're just going to call it foil. So um, I'm just going to take a piece and show you. So what I've done is, I don't know if you can see that, but I used this double-sided tape. And I just made a couple of strips, and that's just so I can do a sample and show you how this works. So I put a couple of strips of the tape on. So you take the foil, and you just lay it on top of the tape. And you know what? Let's do it right across there. And you just lay it on top of the tape. And you just rub it in. And um, there's different kind of ways that you can do that too. You can, you know, use a stick to texturize it or or whatever you want to do. I'm just going to rub that and then you lift and the foil comes out. And so I'm going to show you, I'm going to do two different colors. So I'm just going to cut a piece off. And, and the reason why I'm cutting it off is because I am one of those people that can mess something up. So it's easier for me to cut it off and put the rest up. And then I'll take this and maybe put it across like that. And then I'm just going to use this thing right here and rub and lift and I'm actually going to take pictures of all the projects so you can see them at the end of this video And this foil works really pretty on Christmas cards if you're into making Christmas cards. See? So you could do all kind of different things. And there's all different kinds. I've seen uh, different um, colors. And I have this. Look at that. You know, and then it comes on the rolls. And then, you know, the sheets. So that's, you know, something else that you can... Do a nice little interesting project with, and I'll take this piece already cut and just put it there. Like so.